how's it working with uh, with uh, Toth Barna? We would say Barna Toth, but you say Toth Barna. Things are kind of backwards uh, in this country, which is uh, understandable. I understand, uh, but I try to uh, put up with it, with the backwardness of the of the country, uh, you know, uh, compared to our country, the United States. Um, yeah, working with Barna, uh, yes. I mean, one of the things that's interesting is that, in, uh, of course, he doesn't understand a word of English, um, but he still delivers his lines. Um, I mean, it's interesting working with an actor who uh, really has no idea what he's saying at all, ever. Of course, we feel that he's from... Hollywood, you know, so he has all kind of allures. Um, like he, he wanted his trailer and his uh, changing room and the first day, and we told him that it's a small budget. So I felt he was kind of not offended, but you know, he, he has the status, you know, over there. And now he's he's the American guy here who is this experienced, so he has this approach to us Hungarians, but. He's okay, more or less, you know, he's, he's, he's a bit too much, so in Europe we like natural acting and he's there with the Hollywood star, so we have to cut off these branches, but he's nice, after all, he's nice. He doesn't uh, understand the language, he doesn't know what he's saying, and uh, so it's interesting when you deliver a line to Barna because you know that um, he has no idea what you're saying either. It's interesting working with an actor that way. I mean, normally uh, in America, where I'm from, Los Angeles, Hollywood, where we started making movies, it's where movies come from, Hollywood, in California, Los Angeles. Um, this is not Hollywood. This is this is this is Hungary, where we are now. As I think I've said, um, he's kind of crazy about Hungarian women. So what I see is like can stay between us. But first he was crazy about the costume girl, and then about the make it, makeup girl, and I, I think he he had them in in, her, in his apartment. And why is he called Barna? I mean, when you think about it, it's kind of interesting because a barn uh, in America, of course, as you know, is a barn is for for animals, for cows, chickens, and his name is Barna. And is, is he, is it that he is a barn or was a barn once? Is he filled with animals, cows, chickens? Uh, it's confusing. You know, I don't know how, if you know how he did get this part, because the director is his cousin, so it's kind of family. It's not really his skills or his name, but rather like family issues, so... It's not easy to work with relatives, I think, in this industry, so... It's interesting working with somebody like Parna because, uh, you know, you're usually, the other actor understands what you're saying, kind of, you know, they, they, they have an idea, like, you speak, then they speak, and what they're saying, you understand, and they understand what you're, what you're saying. It's a back and forth thing, and in this case, um, there's... Uh, no back and forth. He's not, he's not an intellectual actor, so what I mean is that he doesn't really understand what's going on in the scene, but he's, he's more like uh, follows his instinct. And sometimes it's working, sometimes it's not, and we kind of laugh a bit about him, but, but sometimes he gets the rhythm and... Yeah, he's, he's instinctive, he's like an animal, like very physical. That doesn't really get the, the text, the meaning, but... Barna, who's cute. He's a, a lovely man, lovely man. Very nice, very sweet. Uh, there you go. But uh, it's just, it's, quite frankly, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a challenge. Did he tell anything about me? 